Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to introduce this HCSR04 ultrasonic distance um, finder. This is the best and cheapest solution to uh, you use this find the distance. So how this works is we have two elements here. So let me rotate it so you can see it. So this is like an, a speaker, but ultrasonic. Ultrasonic means that you cannot hear it. This is the above the sound level that a human can hear. So above 25 kilohertz, up to 40, 45 kilohertz. So this is the transmitter and that is the receiver. So this will send a signal or an ultrasonic waveform and then will hit the object, goes and hit the object and reflects and comes back. And this one will receive it. All the chips all the components are here, so we have very simple connection. It's called echo, the other is, is called trigger. So the echo is the reflection that we can, the trigger is the signal that sends from here. So the echo will come back and we are measuring it. When the signal goes and comes back, we can determine how long it took to come back. And from that we know how far the object was. This, based on the specification, is suggested that it can work between 400 centimeters to 500 centimeters, which is 4 to 5 meters. It can do 20 pings per second, which is 50 milliseconds. So in one second it can measure 20 times, uh, or 20 pings as they call it, because every time you send a signal, you send a ping and then measure it back. So that can be 20 times, which is quite fast. So I've connected echo pin, which is green, to pin 11 here. And I've connected the trigger pin, which is blue, to pin 12. And then the ground will be connected to ground, and VCC will be connected. So here are my ground, and VCC will be connected to 5 volts. So the link for this page will be provided. You can click at the description, or you can click at the robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So either you will download it from robojax.com, directly or if you click and come to this page so you can click on the download and you will see you can download the library from here and once you click this is the latest one that you will select these are the older version and then save it in your download folder in my case I'm saving it in Arduino once that's done once download is completed, just go to sketch and select include, include library and after that select add zip library. From here, go and find the folder that you have downloaded. I've downloaded in the download in Arduino. And then scroll to see and find the code. So this is called new ping version 1.9 because I have downloaded twice that inside the print you can see the one. So just select that and select open and it will be added. You see here I'm getting a warning that this already exists so for you you will not get that error. After that just click find uh, file example and then scroll down and you'll see new ping. When you go to the new ping and then from here we have multiple examples new ping example new ping sensor so click on new ping example. So this is the header, the main file that once you download the library, this will be included. So the trigger pin uh, from the module, we have trigger pin, which I'm going to show you again. So you will connect the 12 here and then echo pin will be connected to 11. The maximum, dis maximum distance that you will be working, just put it here. And according to this documentation here, it says 400 to 500 centimeter so you can enter anything between those ranges and after that we are just uh, from this constructor we are just putting all those passing the value the pen the echo pen and the maximum distance and then it will just initiate that inside the setup we have only this uh, value for the serial monitor so we will set our serial monitor at this rate so it, it can print the value on the screen after that here it says a delay 50, that's 50 millisecond, and here it says 50 millisecond, which is about 20 times a second. And here is the important thing, it says you, you should 
not go lower than this so 29 is the shortest one so that was 50 so you can go up to 30 or 29 but this just prints the word ping on the screen and this is the method that calls the measurement in centimeter and then this just prints the centimeter cm at it. so it will be printed as one text the print and these two lines are print and this is ln or new line so this will create a new line so every time it measures all these three values will be printed in one line make sure you select your port so i'm connected to the port 4 so now it's connected and now i'm just uploading it Now this, this is now pointing to the ceiling, that's why you can see 173, 44, 74, 75, but as, if, as, as I move it, you will see, now I put my hand, as you can see, it shows 10 centimeter, 9 centimeter, so it's very precise, it just fluctuates between 15 and 16, so that's very good, so let me do it down, 7 centimeter, three centimeter and remember you cannot go too low because the reflection should come here if you go here it will never be able to measure it because it cannot reflect back so it has a, some minimum range range so let's see it now five four three after three we are not getting anything so it reads incorrect value so here I'm gonna I'm showing you that the distance is displayed as with centimeter and inch. So let me stop the auto scroll. So it shows centimeter and inch. And the only change that I made in this code is, so the only change that I made is uh, in this one, ping underscore in inch instead of centimeter. So if you need inch, use ping underscore in. And if you need centimeter, ping, ping underscore. But uh, make sure that you, set so this always as centimeter so to use it in your application this is the value that is being printed so i assign it to the variable called distance and the type is integer because you didn't see a decimal point so this is an integer stores in distance now the distance is a variable that you can do something for example you can say if distance is greater than 10 centimeter do something or if distance is less than or equal to 12 centimeter then you can command your servo to do or print something for example let's say here uh, we can say uh, print, uh, print very close So after that, it will print this as well. So it should constantly print because we are zero, you see. Very close. So let's see, very close, four centimeters, six centimeters. And as soon as we go above 12, very close disappears. My hand is here now, I'm putting my hand, you see, very close. And above 18 centimeters, you don't see it. So between 12 and 13, sometimes you see it, and here you will see it all the time because it's 11 and 12, very close. So you can do whatever you want. Thank you for watching. You can get the code directly from robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. You can you're simply click on, click on the description. Please thumb up the video and also please share it. On upcoming video, I will make a video that shows the distance on the actual um, LED, OLED display or some seven segment display so you don't have to rely on the uh, computer.